like in all areas the shit's about to hit the fan for your character with the baby and the Vivian's about to get out. He's got some major fixing up in here, for sure. There it is. Marry me, Philip. Marry me, Philip. It's so funny. Um, yeah, he's got some uh, major problems to handle. But I think if anyone can fix it or if anyone can get himself out of it, Philip can do it. <laughs> and then when you get to a point in the story where you basically decide, okay, I'm going to go along with this and let this woman stay in the coffin, is that, for you personally, do you kind of think, oh, do I really want that to happen, or are you like, yeah, I'll go with it? I don't think about it like that. I think okay. about it like, man, this is really fun to play. <laughs> to you know? Look like you're I mean, we, Yeah, we had a good time. All, we all had a good time shooting that stuff, so it was... Um, it was interesting. Now, personally, yeah, I, don't, I think I would probably got it out because you know, I can lead the trouble. <laughs> Things don't always pan out so good, you know, in real life. <laughs> but I love the way it looked like he was going to let her out, and then he was like, ah, oh, you're crazy. And that moment when you guys came back in the room, I was like, I know, once she starts talking. Yeah. Yeah. Brady kind of got to him. Didn't Brady have a yeah. talk with him? Yeah. And made him realize, yeah, she would make our lives a living hell if she got out of there. So. And now she is going to, obviously. She's out. Yeah. But then, um, yeah. And Maggie's in. Oh I know. Oh my. It's so sad. It's actually, actually seeing Suzanne in there, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. Wow. So um, the baby thing is getting, it's like every day another person knows the truth. How do you think that's going to, obviously it'll destroy their marriages, but how do you think it's going to affect Chloe and Philip as a pair? I mean, they share, they share something huge now. Yeah, for life. 18 years at least. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Summing up in that little bit. That's awesome. Now, do you think it's going to bring up feelings? I think it could. I think it's possible. Um, everybody deals with uh, you know, problems different ways, though. and. You know, one person can deal with it well and one person can't, so, you know, I, I hope that they can really work together and find a way to uh, uh, do right by this job because, you know, it's never good when there's people fighting. Wow. <laughs> and now, being a part of this celebration, 45 years, and you've been on the show for a while, you were gone and then you came back. Yeah. How, how does it feel to be a part of that and to see this reaction and just even, you know, the book? It's like amazing, this amazing, actually. Um, I've said a couple times, it really kind of hit me this week when I was looking at the invite and I saw that number 45. And I realized that I've been on the show seven or eight years total. And when you put that into perspective, I'm kind of a part of the show. And it um, feels good to be a part of it. And uh, it, was just, it was a cool moment having that realization, you know? Yeah, yeah. And how was it, how was it going out and seeing the fans' reaction? Oh, it's always great. Especially, yeah. you know, people travel from all over here. And, um, that really shows that you know, they're dedicated, they like the show, they like, uh, we had a really good turnout this year. And, um, how many proposals? <laughs> Is that only from far away that they do that, or do they also do it when they're in, like, with you? They do that. They also said um, they named their child after Philip. And, <laughs> yeah. But, no, but not, not Jay, that. Philip. Yeah, I said Philip or Jay, really. All right. <laughs> And now, you know, when, when all this stuff does blow up, are we going to see Philip go back to being a little more dastardly? Because, you know, he's been very devoted, you know, to his relationship and everything. We haven't seen him really, you know, twirl the mustache change. and all that. Yeah, okay. I think that his devotion to that relationship, as of now, I think that he'll do anything and everything to hold on to that and not let it go. You know, um, that could be... It could be easier, it could be very hard. If it gets this hard, I guess he would have to get dastardly. Yeah. Is that the word? Yeah, I like dastardly. Yeah. I like it too. That's a good I word. I like it too. <laughs> is, is it more fun to play that, or have you been enjoying, after all these years, getting to play a nicer guy? Please. <laughs> Did you hear what you just said? I know. <laughs> I'm just letting you say it in your own words. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, um, seeing those scenes of a film uh, that aired yesterday, I guess? Yes. And that also kind of hit me that 
and you could, it's like visible that we were all having a good time doing that. <laughs> it really was. That, that, yeah. That's what it, it was, the, and especially in the room when yeah. they they were all standing around and they, you, Philip wanted to feel bad, but he just didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some people are like that. I guess I don't. I don't know. I'm not really. I kind of think I would feel bad, but it was definitely fun to play. I had a really good time. So yes, dastardly. Uh, <laughs> we'll tell the writers. <laughs> Do you think that he's meant to be with Mel, or that he just got her because of all the gameplay that was going on and the? Because there's so much. Not necessarily that he did, but everybody's been playing games. Well, I'd be lying if I said I was not shocked that it's uh, gone on for as long as it has. But that said, I think that it's worked. You know, in a sense. I think that, um, you know, I have different chemistry, everybody has different chemistry with you. Every different person has different chemistry with different people. Right. <laughs> there well you done. go, you got it out. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Jay. Yeah.